What's up guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Zach and I make videos about photography, camera gear, amateur videography, and vlogs. In today's video, we are out talking about the Nikon Z6 II and the Nikon 50mm 1.S lens. So, uh, as you saw in my last video, I just sold all my DSLR gear and I've been getting uh, used to shooting on this guy over the past couple, yeah, three or four days, and it's incredible. So for those of you that have followed the channel for a while, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of street photography. And I, I tell you what, stick around and in this video, I'm gonna share some of the shots that I've got over the past uh, three or four days with this. And I think you'll see that this is a street photography beast. So my initial impressions of this camera, I love it. I love the way it feels. I like how robust it is. I love the fact that it is completely weather sealed, which is perfect for the kind of shooting that I like to do. I love to get out into the wilderness. I love to get out in the street. I love to get out in the bad weather. Um, overall, this is gonna be a camera that lets me do all of that stuff. So uh, like I said, a lot of street photography photos to share with you. Over the past couple days, I've actually been out a few times in the rain and uh, have had no issues with the camera. So when shooting street photography, to talk about that for just a second, my favorite feature of this camera is actually the different auto-focusing systems that it has. Uh, I particularly like the wide area AF, which allows me to basically, okay, I'm walking, I'm walking, I see a subject coming down the street, I know what I wanna do with my composition, I can easily tap on the back of the screen, lift it up and shoot, and I get them in focus at a very high hit rate. Some features about the Z6 II that I'm really enjoying. Um, unlike the Z6, the original, we actually have two card slots in this camera. That was a big gripe from a lot of people with the initial release of the Z6. That's no longer valid anymore. You can now put a CF Express in there as well as an SD card slot. Um, for video shooting, I'm really excited to try out the 4K60, which I didn't have before, as well as just the 4K in general with the uh, in-body image stabilization. That's something I don't have on the Z50 that we're filming on right now. So what that's going to let me do hopefully is get a lot better handheld b-roll shots with some nice stabilization in it without necessarily having to bring my gimbal everywhere with me. All right guys, so I'm not actually gonna dig too far into the depths of what this camera can do and talk about all the spec sheets. There's a lot of those things that you can find online uh, if you wanna know more about the specs. What I really wanna talk about today is just how it feels and how it's been to use. And so far, it has been fantastic. Um, I'm really happy that I decided to go ahead and sell all of my DSLR gear and go full in on the mirrorless system that is the Nikon Z mount. Uh, it's just, it feels great to use. I love the autofocus, I love the color, and as you'll see on the images I'm gonna put up here in a second, like it just, like the files are so awesome to work with. Manipulate the colors, increase the sharpness, the clarity, the contrast, all that stuff looks great. Um, so thanks for sticking around for the video. Guys, if you're into uh, cameras, photography, videography, all that stuff, hit the subscribe button down below, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.